come on in. So I just moved into Treehouse Village and our family of five is slowly unpacking. So it's, days are tiring uh, and long. Already really sensing the community and, and the benefits of living in co-housing. I mean, moving day was a great example of that. We rented our moving truck and we loaded it up. Then we arrived, all five of us arrived with our moving truck and really quickly a couple folks that are already living on site and some that are finishing their work day or some that just happened to be visiting came over and we had an assembly line and we easily emptied all of our um, things in less than an hour and it was a breeze. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so exciting that there are people actually living here now. It's, I have to pinch myself really because this has been, you know, it's been five years uh, since our first meeting but really a 12 year dream. Treehouse Village is Atlanta, Canada's first co-housing community. Co-housing is a type of intentional community where the residents who are going to live there self-develop the, the village themselves. So we will be moving in together to live as a little village. Because we, we imagine like this to be, this is, we call it the common green. So everyone has their own home, their own private home, that's their own space. And we have 30 homes here at Treehouse Village. The homes here uh, range between um, one bedroom and three bedroom in size, and they cost between 350 and roughly 650. And then we also have really extensive shared amenities. So that's one of the distinguishing features of co-housing is that it's not just your home, but you also get to share in the common amenities that are here, and they're quite extensive. Yeah, much stuff here. Yep. This is the the great room or the main, the main room of the common house. So this area is gonna be used for dining. So we'll have places for big tables and people to eat. Um, at that end, there's gonna be a bit of a, like a lounge. So we'll have like a couple of sofas and a, a fireplace kind of thing. But also we can move things aside and have you know dances and birthday parties and special events here. Um, so yeah, this is really the hangout spot. Oh, here, you can see the, uh, the solar panels really well at the window here. It will be certified as a passive house, uh, which means it uses very, very little energy to heat the homes. So, for example, my home will be heated for less than $200 a year. And, you know, we'll be using energy from the solar panels that we have to both run the power needs of the homes and also to feed into our uh, electric vehicle charging stations. So we have several of those charging stations and we have a car share program. We can share also things like childcare or helping in the gardens or meals. So really looking forward to being part of that meal rota where you know, maybe I only take part in cooking once or twice a month, but I get to go a few times a week and enjoy a meal that's been made by my neighbors. The pandemic actually was a prompt for people to think about where they live and how they live, and social isolation is, is such a, a real thing. We're committing to work together to maintain these buildings and to um, restore the land and to grow food and, you know, to do those things help each other raise our families, take care of each other, you know, not in a formal sense, but just, you know, to be good neighbors. I'm quite in awe of the contributions this collection of people have made. It's, it's pretty astounding. <laughs> it's unbelievable that we've attracted the amount of people we have and everyone is contributing in, in all the ways they can. But I still, I can't believe we did it. I can't believe, uh, you know, five years ago we had this, we were introduced to this project and this I'm gonna say a really ambitious idea, and we did it, we built it. We um, were home. <laughs>